if you look at the world today, competitiveness is no longer something that the West dominates. In fact, according to the World Economic Forum, which has a competitiveness index, the competitiveness of the United States has declined by about 7% since 2006, and the competitiveness of China has increased by about 14%. Science, technology, if you just look at patents granted by country of applicant, Japan has been ahead of the United States for more than a decade. China is now in third position. It overtook Germany in 2009. Very few Germans believe this, but it's true. The rule of law is no longer something that can be claimed to be a Western monopoly. On the contrary, as I'm going to show you, by almost any measure, the rule of law is in better shape in Hong Kong than it is in New York City. Asian life expectancy has, in some cases, overtaken that of the West. The consumer society has moved east. If you don't believe me, take a trip to Hong Kong, which is now really just a giant shopping mall connected by a subway system. There are, in the world, some very large shopping malls. The biggest in the world, there are 30, according to the Merrill Lynch League table of shopping malls. Only three of the 30 are in the United States. All the others are in what we call emerging markets. The consumer society maxed out in the West. It's pretty hard to be a consumer when you are leveraged to the hilt and your balance sheet won't let you borrow any more. As for the work ethic, well, here we are. Most Norwegians are now on holiday. You're the last remaining working Norwegians. <laughs> and only I'm, in fact, working because you're just listening. <laughs> if you look at working hours per annum, it's very clear that the work ethic doesn't live here in Europe anymore, nor in North America. The average South Korean works nearly 1,000 hours more per year than the average German. And that's why, when South Koreans do get to go on vacation, the Germans are already there. <laughs> and when the South Koreans go back to Seoul, the Germans stay for at least another two weeks. So the work ethic has relocated. The six killer apps don't live here anymore. Or if they do, we have to share them. And this is good. It is great for hundreds of millions of people all over the world, in China, in India, in Brazil, to have finally got somewhere closer to working institutions. It means that the centuries of economic stagnation have ended. The centuries in which per capita GDP in China did not grow, or in fact declined, are over. We should celebrate that. We should do nothing to stop it. But. <laughs>